Hi there, and welcome to Sentence Pattern 4A. Or you might not have known that the ancient Greeks had rhythm. Here's the plan for today. First, we're going to talk about why a series is useful. We'll do that really quickly since you already know that. We're going to look at Pattern 4A and talk about why someone might use polysyndeton, which is the fancy Greek name for this rhetorical device that we find in 4A. And of course, as always, we're going to practice. First of all, why do you really want to use a series? Well, a series is useful. It takes a lot of short sentences and it makes them into a long sentence. It also can show the connectedness of ideas and things and bring them together in ways that you are going to find very useful. Let's look at these two examples to see why a list can be powerful. Andrea went to soccer practice. Andrea studied for a physics test. Andrea wrote an email to her Spanish teacher. Andrea did 15 calculus problems. Andrea memorized her lines. Andrea crafted an English essay. Andrea's boyfriend wondered why she never texted him. Now those sentences, of course, all begin the same way, which sometimes can be very effective in making your point, but it doesn't give quite the same effect as the second example. Andrea went to soccer practice and studied for a physics test and wrote an email to her Spanish teacher and did 15 calculus problems and memorized her lines and crafted an English essay. How dare her boyfriend wonder why she never texted him? Lots of famous authors use pattern 4A. This is what it looks like. You know it well from John Degatta, who really does love this particular sentence pattern. The coroner's office in Las Vegas is tan and stuccoed and flat roofed and small and wedged within district attorney's offices and accountant's offices and psychiatrist's offices and banks. If you look at the building here, that description is frighteningly accurate. What is 4A? Why would Degata use this particular pattern to convey the appearance of this building? Well, as you, I'm sure, figured out by now, pattern 4A has a series with the variation A and B and C, or it can be A or B or C anywhere in a sentence. So why do so many authors use sentence pattern 4A at all? We see this all the time in literature, and, and there's going to be a reason for it. The first reason is that the rhythm really slows down a sentence, and the second is that what 4A does is it gives a clear idea that there are many options in your series. It stretches out what you have to say. You're saying there are so many. It was this and that and this and that. The very use of that conjunction makes an impact in your sentence. Of course, the Greeks had a name for this particular sentence pattern. They called it polysyndeton. And polysyndeton can make any list seem longer and thus more impressive. It helps you mess around with that rhythm. Here is our first famous example from Maya Angelou. Let the white folks have their money and power and segregation and sarcasm and big houses and schools and lawns like carpets and books, and mostly, mostly, let them have their whiteness. Maya Angelou wrote these words in uh, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, which came out in 1970. You'll notice that what she's doing is piling on the privilege of white people, and Polly Sinditon helps her do that. She uses very concrete images, money, big houses, schools, lawns like carpets, books, and then intersperses that with other ideas, with segregation, with power, sarcasm, whiteness. That contrast within this particular sentence makes it even more effective. We can find another example of polysyndeton from Dom DeLillo in his tome Underworld. He is speaking about Russ Hodges, who was the broadcaster for the pennant race game between the Giants and the Dodgers that took place in October of 1951. If his voice has an edge of disquiet, it's because he has to get to the clubhouse to do interviews with players and coaches and team officials. And the only way to get there is to cross the length of the field on foot. And he's already out of breath, out of words and the crowd is growing over the walls. Don't forget to use conjunctions between all the parts of your series. 
Experiment with both and and or because you get a different effect with each one. Challenge each other to write the best sentences using, of course, sentence pattern 4A. And really, have some fun.